Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today I'm working on the dollhouse again. Um, I'm working on actually the ceiling. So I thought that everybody would like to see what I'm actually doing in that. So I'm on the floor because it's easier for me. <laughs> I have a, quite a mess going on here. I bought some silicone and plastic molds throughout, I don't know, quite a few years because... Uh, I always have like projects in mind, so I have a ton of these. Plus I was just looking for something else and found this one that I bought. And, oh, achoo, achoo. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. No, I don't have Corona. It's called an allergy. And then I have this one and quite a few other ones. And I just found this one <laughs> at the bottom of my thing, which is absolutely, you can see, it's all, like that so I'm gonna start working I'm gonna put the camera down facing what I'm actually doing and we'll just go from there okay okay let's see if we can get me to see what I'm doing come on come on work with me Kevin this is why why is everything so you're supposed to bend right yes found it it took a second guys. Okay, so I'm going to be rolling out the DOS. I'm using DOS as I do for a lot of stuff. It's the I have one, but unfortunately I let it dry out. So I have to move work with this within a day or two days before it really so I'll take a nice chunk. A nice chunk. Ugh. And I'm going to roll it on here. And I have my hair plastic roller. Which I have to say, these are unbelievably expensive. You know. Okay. So I've been on Pinterest and searching the web for Victorian ceilings. As you know, they were very ornate. And everything so I'm doing starting today before it goes into the dollhouse I'm gonna make this thin because I learned from my other dollhouse if you make it too thick everything becomes too heavy so let's, thin. let's see if that actually works Oops, sorry I'm actually going to be using for the ceiling for the parlor this one as going around but let's see if I can get this lifted and maybe I made it too thin but we'll find out let's just do a test I'm gonna pat it down get it all into the nooks and crannies I bet I made it too thin okay a little bit broken up there. Let's see. That's lovely, but I think it's just a little bit too thin. So we're just going to try again. Okay. So I don't want to work with too much clay at one time. And of course, doing this sitting on the ground, even more fun. Okay. It's a little bit thicker. Okay, it's a tad thicker, and we're going to try again. Really get it into the grooves. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is start to form it here. So, try to get you to see it. Where is it? 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 it should be up and high, maybe. Oh my God, I hate this. Learning how to do things with tripods. Okay, so I actually need... Ooh. 
So I'm going to take off, cut this hopefully quite well. I'm still taking off. Okay. Let's take off. We have some time to play with it because usually I noticed in my house it starts to dry quite quickly so we're just gonna run down that side with our finger if anybody has some questions about the dollhouse or things like that I mean, I made a dollhouse in the States, in America, uh, from Greenleaf. And, um, just gonna cut this one here. And, uh, if you know Greenleaf for people who make dollhouses. Okay, so what I want to do is to look at this. It got a little bit dirty. You can always fix that later. Is to just start to. We can tap that one down just a little bit. Okay. Okay. We can always go back and want the ceiling to be there. There's actually, where is it? Hold on. Okay. Right there. There's the center of the ceiling. Just going to do that because that's the center because luckily with this kit they actually give you the grooves and the holes to put your electrical into so your lights so I'm going to do that so I want this to be basically a square like this and then the center piece which is this one I think we should build make the center piece so then we get everything Oh my god, these silicone things are so sticky. Okay. So that would be the I never can remember what they call that for the for the lights around the lights. So we'll actually even put the hole in it and everything. Okay, so then we can actually build going this way. Okay. So I'm actually have to say though, there's going to have to be more um Play this time. So I'm just gonna bring it out like this a little bit and a little bit like this. Let's see, it feels perfect. And we're gonna just start squishing into the mold. Okay, right, let's try that again. We're gonna squish it, squish it, squish it, squish it. I find it easier probably with my hands in the roller because I can feel the thickness then. Okay. Okay, so see my foot, but you don't see me. I know. I have a nice toe. Look at that toe. Anyway, so I'm pounding out the clay. Now, putting it into the mold. Hello, Sophia. I have two very good friends who said that uh, I should just do vlogs every day and that the reason I'm not doing them on um, YouTube is because, uh, I don't know, I'm not a big YouTube, I mean I use YouTube myself, I'm always on watching YouTube, but you know. Okay, I think we got that well in there. Okay, so now we're going to, oh, wow. Can we just say, that's really a beautiful piece. I mean, I'm not gluing any of this down. 
but I can actually say that this is going to be, I mean, we can add some nice colors to that. We can add some golds with the, with an off white. That is absolutely beautiful. We'll also put the hole in now. Once I cut this and make a nice square out of it, hopefully. But anyway, they were telling me, you should just vlog yourself every day because, you know, they keep saying that I'm interesting. God love them. I'm just going to bring that down. We're going to get up all this inside the corners in it. So can you see there? Good. Okay. We're really going to, I don't want to get close to the pattern. I don't want to ruin it, which... You know, so I'm going to make it a very tight square, which actually cutting on this is not a good idea. And my painted ceiling. A few things you learn when you do a dollhouse is like paint the ceilings first. I mean, it would be great because my plan was to have all the paper and all that, which I did order off of SD and print it. You know, it's the downloadable ones. But the problem is, with the quarantine and just myself also, getting to some places is a little bit hard. Okay. That's nice so far. Okay. Let's go as close as we can to that end one. Just trying to cut it. Out. Won't be absolutely perfect, but which, if you know me, will annoy me, but we're doing okay. So now we continue one more cut here. Oh, yeah. Let's get that. It's like, I don't know how people make cakes using this stuff. I think I would drag myself. Okay, let's just fix that corner. Give it a slight, nice beveled edge. Let's see. We can just bring that all in just a little bit so it doesn't mess with the pattern too much. I think that's looking really well. I'll show you in a second. Okay, what hasn't come off, can you see that? Where is it? Can you? Where are you? Where is it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, he was like, where is it? Okay. So, I actually have to say, I really like it. I can imagine it painted up and how pretty it'll be. Uh, I could have probably pressed a little bit harder on it, but I actually think that it's absolutely perfect. Again, this is a second floor ceiling, so it's not like, you know, I mean, you're going to have to stick your head in to see it anyway. And as I always say when people come to my house, why are you judging me so harshly? <laughs> okay, you're going to slide that off. And I'm just going to, the center for me, what I see as the center, is right there. So we're just going to make that hole. We're gonna make it quite wide because we want the, when I get the electrical bits, probably for Christmas, I've already said that's gonna be my little Christmas present to myself. I'm just gonna do that. And then, because then of course the, whatever, the chandelier or whatever is going to fit there. And then this would go right over. Let's find that spot. Where are you? Hello, there you are. So that's the center. So we're underway. Okay, so that would be the center. We can just, hopefully didn't mess it up too much here. I can actually press that back out and down a little bit. Okay, okay. So, I'm gonna get the cover to the knife. Oh no, 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 I will put the knife there so I don't kill myself. Okay. So I actually love that. I think that worked out really pretty. It's very ornate. It's exactly what I was looking for. And like I said, with some gold and white on that, that's going to be very pretty. Maybe doing, the, because when these dry, they dry perfectly white. So 
when uh, it dries in it, I can just, I just didn't want to cut around. I think that's okay. I don't think that's bad. Oh, no, now I lost my center again. Okay. <laughs> don't keep moving stuff, Christine. Okay. So I'm looking now. And I'm looking at these different ones that I have here. Plus, I just noticed I have this little one here. Because after looking at the pictures and things like that, like you could do embellishes on the side. Sophia, my cat's coming to see. You know, you could do these kind of embellishes along the side, like maybe something like this. But that's quite big, I think. But it is pretty. But it's quite big for what I'm going for. I still think that this one actually, but I'm looking at this one now, but that's very ornate. This one at least is not as ornate. Like I said, I did this one, but I'm just realizing I didn't give the enough thickness. So we're just going to redo that one. Okay. Grab some more DOS. DOS, 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 DOS. Going tomorrow to the craft store to get some more paint. I picked out for the house itself, it's a yellow. But I'm not sure because like when I drive around, this is the color of our apartment building now. Actually, <laughs> this is like, this is why I'm looking at it saying, like, hmm, I look at that all day. Do you know what I mean? From my patio, like I look at my patio and that's what's the color that's there. And actually in Rome, they have a lot of Georgian homes. And there's actually a few that I've seen that are actually this lovely, very peach color. Not like, ooh, peach, but like a nice peach with white and I'm like yeah so I think tomorrow what I might do is look at regular paint this is actually chalk paint because I love chalk paint because it's just so soft looking I might do a test of this just to see but yeah I really am crazy about the um the peach yeah yeah the peach the peach so let's we'll see okay let's see if I can do this so much work Okay, we got it started. It's always getting things started. Without ruining the other one, would be great. I know that's what everybody is going to look at this and say, oh, she's going to ruin the other one. What's wrong with you? Okay. It would be great if I could do one long. Let's see? Let's do that. That's been I think where I want it. We're really going to tap that down. Okay. I'm really tapping it in there. I'm going to take some of this off now so I can use it at the top. Still tapping. Okay. Let's tap this one down. I can actually stretch that one. Come on. When you realize clay is not your friend. Not sure. Okay, we got there. I'm going to squish that one down. So, join it to this one. So, this is what I'm going to be doing. I don't know how long I'm hopefully I can get. Because basically, it's going to be um, the parlor with the with an ornate ceiling, more ornate, and the sitting room. I wrote that yeah, that's the parlor and the dining room, and then like the bedroom and that. Of course, just using the ones to where the where the um, chandelier would go, where the lightings, whatever. <sighs> I hope everybody's having a great day for those in America. I know my friend is out voting today. She's going to be in a line for God knows how long, but she's out to voting. So good for her. In Italy, they never can find me for me to send in a ballot. So I don't know. I'm really sad about that because this year I really wanted to. And there we go. Look at that. Okay. So that is absolutely perfect. I mean... I think the two together, can you, no, the two together is absolutely very nice, okay, so we're going to cut and press this down, 
Again, we're letting this dry before I put it in place so then I can paint them. Of course, this one here didn't come out well. What to do, what to do, what to do? Do you think I can pop it back in without? Everybody's saying, don't pop it back in. I'm gonna pop back in. I just need it very strong. Come on. And then if you, you want to know, like, I have all the furniture for the dollhouse except for some rooms because this room, this dollhouse has nine rooms, and I actually have enough furniture for six rooms uh, in Europe or Italy. I'm not sure if it's all of Europe. They had this dollhouse magazine, and basically you bought every month, and then you could get a dollhouse, which I did. But it wasn't, it just didn't put together right. And then I had a student that I taught and she was a teenager and she, I told her, don't open it, you know, and I had to run to the bathroom and she wanted to take a sneak peek and everything, the floors just collapsed. Okay, that's better. See, because we can just get that down, get that down, get that down. Okay, that's absolutely perfect. Now we're going to cut off the excess again. Okay, so I have all the furniture, but there's going to be rooms that I'm going to make, like um, an office, a library office, you know, I'm not sure about, I know everybody puts the, I have the furniture for, you know, an infant room, which I guess I could do because I'm just not sure where my house is actually going. In the sense of who's the family yet, you know, what stories there. I actually do see maybe some kids living there. You know, it's really nice at Christmas. Okay. So I'm not sure. I mean, I was looking at some of these dollhouse dolls, the Victorian ones and that, and saying, oh, they're really cute. God, this is like an operation. Okay. Okay, so you got that one off, and again, I'm just going to run my finger, make sure it's straight, and any of those edges of the, um, the clay, make sure it's in there, nice, oh, okay, wow, it's not, I mean, it isn't a much work, but it's just really like you're just thinking to yourself, don't mess it up. I mean, actually, this is cheaper than ordering off the of SD or one of the sites of people that do this, which, I mean, I would love to support them, but, you know, sometimes the prices are really high. I mean, at, at the end of the day, actually, I guess if you think about it, I mean, over the years, how much did I spend on silicone moldings and all that stuff? Oh, I don't know, a lot. But see, that was stretched over maybe five, six years of knowing I was going to do a dollhouse. Just didn't know which style. No, that's okay. I think it's coming out. Okay, I'm looking at it again. There's just a line, but again. I mean, if you come here, you're going to get on your knees to look at my ceiling. <laughs> and then, then, then you all can say to me, oh, Christine. I know what you should have done. I think like that. And I'm also thinking now we can I can actually put a color in the center. I actually saw that being done on some of the Victorian ceilings and that, like they had a color in the center. So whatever the color of the room is to kind of match that. That was really cool looking, too. I'm looking at that saying, of course, this can be white, because then with your ceiling meeting the wall, you're going to have the Cornish here, So, which uh, I'm not making. Unless I can find a, a mold for that. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I know that I was on, um, what's that place called again? The Chinese one. Um... Mm. AliExpress and they have a lot of molds so but the problem is like you have to wait quite a long time 
for it to come. I'm just getting putting away my knife so I don't cut myself and bleed for days on end. I'm going over here so you can just I'm thinking I think that's long enough but I'm not sure because now I'm looking at it and wondering I think it's long enough I'll probably just do a little bit of water on my finger I want to get them all made first Starting the next one. Is everybody, I know this year, sadly for the kids, no Halloween. And I also know for adults. Please, I mean, if you're going to have a Halloween party for yourself as an adult, at least think about it. You know, I mean, I love Halloween. Actually, I will be alive <laughs> on Halloween uh, doing my makeup, not leaving the house, but just doing my makeup and my costume. So uh, I'll be live, and uh, it should be <laughs> an interesting time. I'm not telling you what I'm going to be yet. You'll find out on that day. But I'm doing the makeup. And I will be live on voting day. Just to, um, I'll be in and out on voting day, seeing, it's quite exciting. That day I'll get political. No, I'm not. Okay, let's stick you there and blend you up, hopefully. Don't blend you. Huh. <laughs> I'm taking doing this clay, you know, three years later. I finished the ceiling. For my other dollhouse, which I have to bring that in here and show because I really would like to finish the porch and then I can start to work on the um, the roof. My half inch uh, painted lady. But she's not that painted though. That's I painted her one color, but every, you know I keep looking at her. She's in our bedroom and I keep looking at her saying, oh darling. You need another color in there, other than blue and white. But that's the fun part. I think the fun part of anything is even doing it like this by yourself. Come on, come on, don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Yay! Oh, wow, that one is really good. Look at that. Mamma mia, that even came on. See, now it's like, yeah, but see, it's a little bit broken here. But we can salvage we can do it. Okay. So let's just, we might redo that one. I'm not sure. This one is really, we're just going to do this. Kind of keep you together. Get you down flat. Oh, yeah. That's nice. See, again, painted. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to redo this other one. Didn't like that one. So when I uh, could see this again, white with some gold or, you know, maybe even another accent color in it. Maybe like a Victorian rose color could be really pretty. And again, if I don't like it, I just get some more DOS, which I actually have three more packets of DOS. Because I can get that here in the area. So I've been watching videos also on Christmas villages. And getting all excited about it because, you know, saying, yeah. Oh, my cats are fighting. Sophia, be nice to Sheldon. She does not like that, like her brother. We always call him her brother, and she's thinking, I never asked for him. Like my kids used to say, I didn't want him. Okay, so there we go. 
I'm just patting as I go. So you're getting the idea of what I'm going for. So I'm actually going to just finish cutting this and then I'm going to take a break because I get a little bit tired with my back. And I can come back later and continue on and even be with you guys probably after it's 11 a.m. So Giovanni will be home early today. So after lunch, I can come back and we can continue on and see how well everything dried. Again, I'm just trying to make that perfect because I'm sure I can sand it down, but I really don't want to. I really don't want to get that up there. So again, if you have any questions about the dollhouse, which I will be showing later, because I'm also painting walls. So I can get the, get the ceilings in and all that over the next few days. That's why uh, there was no way to do this, of course, when the ceilings were inside. That would have been ridiculousness. Ceilings and, oh, wait, I didn't do the, do the, you know, I didn't do the ceilings. Now what do I do? Always think ahead. Like I said, Friday, I'll probably be going to get all the printing done of all of my not all, but most of what I've chosen. And I chose some really, some are, one is very gothic. In fact, it's like a vampire-ish thing. And I'm, I'm picturing that more for, let's say, the library. I really think that's cool. And like a library of somebody who's explored, I think is really cool. So there we go. Like, a, get that edge straight which is not easy but there we go so if we do that let's put this there pick up over here. i wonder how much fur i'm picking up too okay wait let's see cover my knife so if we actually were to do this see we could even put a, a corner in then because i have these things we can actually even do that see So you can actually put something in the corner. Okay, so if you think I'm doing well, <laughs> you can leave a comment like that saying, hey, or you could say, what are you thinking? No, don't do it, you know. <laughs> but I won't listen. I'm not going to listen. But I'm thinking this, I mean, we need something here to connect it. I have uh, some roundy things. I have a rose here. I see that. That would be nice. And I have some other silicone I have to go through like I like I said I buy it and then <laughs> I'm like oh you know so I do see I mean we have some nice uh the floor so which is you know that's really great too because it's French looking so we can do that I mean I mean we're doing Victorian but we're doing also probably Edwardian or maybe I'm trying to think Georgian because the house actually you know through time and you know would have been changed over because it's more of a English house than the American Victorian, which again, I'm enjoying because I've never thought of like European Victorian. So it's really, you know, and like driving around and when you're in Rome or you go to these mainly in the city, like in Rome and that uh, has all these houses that are turn of the century and maybe even before. So you're looking at these, uh, what were villas and saying, wow, okay. Now they're still villas, but not, you know, not people live in them and stuff. So anyway, so I'm going to need two more pieces, making sure that I, you know, like here and then here and making sure that it's all level. And then I'll probably mark it on here, right? And then, like I said, then I can paint all this because I'm going to go and get to paint, uh, gold paint I need. And like I said, it's probably some antique rose colors. 
I have off white, but I'll probably need more because I'm thinking off white with this. And then again, in here, I'm picturing a different color inside here. Since I have to bring up my furniture and look at it, I think the, the parlor furniture was actually just white, which I can actually change. So I think I was going with the red paper, so it can actually work on something like that. Well, it's already even tacking down here, but that's good. Okay, so, never wearing makeup. Oh, hello, I didn't see someone was on. Never wearing makeup. This is, you know, I was even saying, if we get the lockdown, which is starting sadly to look like that for us, I mean, it's out of control again. I don't know. Um, I'm probably going to do an early Christmas. <laughs> I mean, if they lock us down for November, I'm just going to start Christmasing up the house. So at least it's something to enjoy and that. Um, so, you know, so I'm trying to get all of the Christmas stuff shopping done. I mean, in a sense of stuff that, you know, it's like at Ikea or uh, other shops that I like, Upium or uh, my favorite garden center to get to this, my Christmas village stuff so that I can actually then, you know, presents and that is always ordered online anyway, because uh, we're both tech, techie people, you know, we're both like, ooh, a new tablet, ooh, a new phone, you know, and we're cheap. So actually I have a new phone and I really, I need to talk about I was going to say real quick, it's an Ukitel, and you're all saying, what's an Ukitel? An Ukitel is a, uh, yes, a Chinese phone. But let's be honest, all the phones are made in China. But this one, actually, I have to say, it's got 64 gigabytes. I mean, it's, I can, I have, every, putting everything on this phone. The colors are fantastic, and we paid 125 euros. We both got one, so 125 euros each on Amazon. And you can actually probably even, I saw that you can get it cheaper from some of these other uh, places and that. But I love this phone. It has a nice big screen and everything. Okay, so I will probably see everybody in a couple of hours. Right now, like I said, I'm just going to make myself a nice cup of tea and watch a little bit more of Legends of Tomorrow. <laughs> so, ciao, ciao, ciao.